Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel and I was just thinking, you know, over the past few years I've done some things that I'm not really proud of. There's a couple of things that I really wish I wouldn't have done and including this albino giant wildebeest that I messed up on yesterday. I don't see him yet. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, come on. Well, I guess he did go down and we let him just a little bit too much. What about a massive gold? But sometimes these things happen. Ah, we did the vertebrae. Oh my god. Oh, that would have been a giant. But that's just one of the many things that I messed up on and regret doing in the past. And I'm going to tell you a few other things that I regret. And not only that I regret, but that they don't really represent who I am as a person. One of those things that I did was I actually made a video saying that there's seven things I need Call of the Wild to fix or would like Call of the Wild to fix. And that buck right there should go down. And since we have this guy out here at 240, we might as well go for him as well. I believe it's just a dilute, but sometimes it could be an albino, so you really never know. That should take him down nicely. So I made a video saying that seven things Call of the Wild should fix, including one of them was actually the spinal cord. Another one was like, there's too many bugs in the game. Another one was, I don't know. You'll just have to go back and watch the video. But when I made that video, I actually didn't intend to kind of like diss Call of the Wild because Call of the Wild is a great game. The way it came off was that I was trying to diss Call of the Wild, all the developers and everybody that's associated with the game. But that is far from what I was trying to do. I was actually just trying to give my opinion, but the way that I gave my opinion was not the right way because it, even looking back at it now, I understand how it came off and just not even how it came out, just how it was. I never should have done something like that and I didn't mean to offend anybody. I just wanted to give, you know, constructive criticism about what I think and it's good to give a uh, you know feedback because the games actually live off feedback but it's one thing to give feedback and it's another thing just to be rude and, and the way i was it was just rude so holy crap i do believe that might be an albino uh water buffalo right there so i wouldn't mind trying to get that one real quick all right there's our albino water buffalo so if he turns we could go for heart but i'd rather have yeah, that should be a single lung, and it should take him down. I mean, I know we could put a follow-up into him, but really shouldn't need to. That guy there actually looks pretty decent. Actually, both those look decent. I would say probably going to be like a 7, possibly mythical. Yeah, 7, and oh my god! Holy. That's a 9 legendary water buffalo. <laughs> and it's an orange. This is like one of my dream diamonds right here. You know, it's kind of scary though. I don't want to jinx anything, but I've been hearing so much about people getting these nine legendaries and not being diamond. So I really don't know if this guy would make diamond or not. I mean, I definitely want him as a diamond, but on second thought, anybody that watches my channel knows that there's nothing cooler than taking down a giant diamond with a bow and since we're within 80 yards away from this giant i think that's exactly what we're gonna do uh, i guess that's as good as we can really get okay yeah we're fine we're fine we're fine so we need to get to 68 yards out okay that could work that should have been a smoked water buffalo and he's down. Oh, oh, oh. Holy. I think we only got a single lung. But we should be okay. Um, why isn't this a diamond? Okay, then. <laughs> we did get a left lung. He was turning. But... That should have been... I mean, guaranteed gold. Like, what in the heck just happened here? So, I did see that somebody said the uh, water buffalo are broken. The diamond ones. I'm a little bit confused. I think it's just broken. I honestly think it's broken. 
but 133.7 we need at least like a 191 to be a diamond nah that's that's way bigger than that that's that's a massive cable or water buffalo either way I mean, it's a diamond potential orange water buffalo, and I've wanted one of these for so long. So guaranteed we're getting it mounted. As you can see, I'm a little bit worked up about this whole situation here, because <laughs> I would have planned it on um, being a diamond, and it's exactly what I wanted for a while, but I mean, I'm still happy with it. Whatever, it's just, eventually these things aren't even gonna matter much anymore. So the trophy rating, 133. And the weight, I don't know. It's just, I'm really happy with this. It's just, I'm a little bit confused. But anyways, let's get him mounted. <laughs> 9,000 cash, it's super expensive, but that was pretty awesome. You can see he was turning when we took the shot. Still caught the center of the, uh, well, looks like his left lung there. And we did take him down. But anyways, let's get back to what we were talking about from before. I got a little bit distracted and that's usually what happens. Um, there's another situation where a discord manner took place and I do want to apologize for that as well Okay, so here's pretty much the exact same situation that we just had. That's a massive water buffalo He's 80 yards away. The only thing is this one right here is in front of him. It's a female But the one in the back is a massive water buffalo. It's only an eight mythical which technically it shouldn't be as big as our nine legendary, but it's still has the same size horns as a nine legendary, so it's probably gonna be a diamond as well. But we'll find out here in a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're still at 60. That thing is absolutely smoked. Look at that tracer. That's incredible. And hello to you too. <laughs> That was a close one. I wasn't trying to get that one, but... I mean, that thing was just smoked. We ended up getting a double lung, liver, and stomach at 59 yards out, and you can see here... A trophy rating of 127, so they are majorly broken, majorly broken, but that's okay. So I'm pretty sure with the 6.5, if we get a nice single or double lung hit on this nice Puma out here, we should be able to get a nice gold. That should have been a good hit. This one even going to stop? Check this out. Way, 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 way high. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we got it because he's down. About 400 yards out and he's down. But while we're heading over there, another thing that I did do was I made a video saying that YouTubers are ruining hunting games. Now, just because the way I grew up hunting, we never went for brain shots, doesn't mean that I have the ability or the right to be able to talk bad about someone else who hunts a certain way or actually plays a game a different way than I than I believe in. It doesn't get me right at all. I can tell you what I believe in, but that doesn't mean that I should be rude about other people and the way that they believe in. Oh my god, I almost forgot about our albino water buffalo that we got from before. I came over here to pick up our muley buck that we made a pretty nice shot on, and then I just saw this guy and I realized I forgot about him. Well, I didn't forget. I just, uh, well, let's just say I got a little bit distracted from... What is this now? Okay, that's our puma. Oh, okay, so our puma? Check this out. This is pretty sweet. We have literally our albino water buffalo right there, 50 yards away. We have our nice mule deer buck right here, 10 yards away. And we have our puma right here, another 10 yards away. So let's try and get this in order here. So I believe we got the mule deer buck first. And stomach. 230 out so there's another thing that i regret <laughs> mess that one up check this out non-vital organ hit just missed the back of the liver 230 yards out stomach but not a bad size muley still a trophy rating of 426 
Here is our albino. Yes, it is an albino, and that was actually a silver. Now, how does this thing equal a silver with a left lung? The same exact shot placement, pretty much, as our nine legendary, but this one has a trophy rating of 141, and that thing had massive horns on it. The nine legendary that we had had a trophy rating of 133, so that was obviously majorly messed up because this thing has a trophy rating of 141.8. And here is our Puma that we got at 390 yards out. Looks like we got a double lung vertebrae and he's gonna score 37.5. That's a nice gold Puma and a pretty far shot with a 6.5. But with that, I do wanna apologize for everybody that I've offended. I didn't mean to hurt anybody like this. A lot of the things that I have done were basically because I felt that I had no choice, not because that's what I believed in. It was just because the circumstance that I was under, I couldn't really be relaxed about anything. Everything was always stress and tension to me. So when somebody would push something on me, it was like it was hurting me and I had to fight back against it. I wasn't doing that on purpose. I don't believe in fighting unless you absolutely have to. But in this case, I pretty much had to because the circumstance that I was under was I was hurt really, really bad. So a lot of the things I did and said were mostly because I really wasn't mentally in the right state of mind, like I just said. But anyways, now I am and I can look back on that and realize that I did make a mistake for many of the things that I have done in the past. And I apologize to everybody out there. I mean, literally like everybody that I was pushing my beliefs onto you more than well, I shouldn't do that at all, actually. So let's just be real about this. Everybody has a right to think whatever they want, and you shouldn't enforce someone else to believe what you believe in. I mean, you can relate with them and, you know, suggest certain things, but to be rude about it and put them down, that's just not right. And that's not who I am as a person. Never have been, never was, and I never, well, I would say I never will be, but I kind of just was, but that's because it wasn't really me during that time because I was totally not in the right state of mind. But anyways, I wouldn't be able to take in the information and you know, just understand it and then give my feedback back. It was like I would take in the information and to me that was like an attack, it was hurting me. So I would just like fight back and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just taken the information in and gave a proper feedback uh, back to everybody. But anyways, I hope you guys understand and I really apologize to everybody out there. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that this one's probably gonna be a diamond. This is an eight mythical, he's 250 yards out. There's another big one behind him, but I can't. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, so that's a six. But this one in the front is a mythical, 250 out. I think we're gonna go for him with the 300 magnum. And that should have been a good hit. So I do believe that this will be the second one that we actually know this would be the first one that we got with the 300 Magnum and we'll find out. Hey, <laughs> I mean, is the bow broken or what to cause 197 really doesn't look like the horns on this thing are any bigger than the other ones. I mean, this thing weighs way less than our nine legendary, but it is a diamond 197.1 and we need 191.7. This will be technically our biggest diamond water buffalo yet. So, I mean, at least we got a diamond.